evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Morning, Vault 76. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night, even those who may have overindulged and overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family.
have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that vault is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, it means I've been gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. This is the Overseer. Mr. Man. Off. Hello. Oh, finally. I feared you'd never wake up. Get injured, and you will get injured. Make use of stim packs. They are literal lifesavers. So, about the infrastructure out there in Appalachia, I suspect. I found this holotape on the Overseer's terminal. Gave a little listen. Seems you should meet her at her camp, just down the road.
Overseer's Log, south of Vault 76. I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? And... No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... 
What I can confirm is hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find me there. The Overseer. Signing off. Tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long, and things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dr. Ben Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple of years now. I'm from Charleston originally, so hey, it was easy to Bob join up. Hey, What you need wasn't supplies. easy was the work. Bob's Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flock to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold. Their names lost to time. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts, their stories, anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series the Survivor Stories. I'll start with me. I was an anthropology PhD student at Vault Tech University, final year. I was printing my thesis when I heard the sirens. I, I thought for sure my father, a Vault Tech employee, could take us all with him, but uh, only two reservations came through. I refused to go. With my little brother, he went to the vault. They could not persuade me, though they tried. 
in the end, I pushed them inside it, and that was it. After that, I, I went back home to Charleston and, well, survived. Eventually, the responders formed, and I, I signed up right away. It was so hard. The flood was devastating. I remain optimistic. Been with them now for, uh, oh, I guess two years. We have big plans. We can do so much to help. Maybe, just maybe, we can rebuild enough to be okay. And in the meantime, I will continue to record stories of survivors when I can. We are your history. Hi. Dasa asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. She asked everybody, so I, I said okay. My name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and the cows with heads, all of it. I was bad. Bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and uh, put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and uh, I put Nuka Cola in the rat cage water bottles at the pet store. And um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. My dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things wouldn't happen. I haven't seen daddy since the bombs. And I, I guess he left because of that, too. It's okay. I'm, I'm trying to be good now, though. I'm, I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but... Dr. said I can help collect food and water, so... I'm getting better, I promise. And... Daddy, if you're listening, I, I promise I won't be bad anymore, so you can come back now. Okay. Okay. Bye. Hey, volunteer. If you need supplies, Bobbitt's got you covered.
the responder. Need you visit Fletcher in the Ooh. <laughs> 